we present a system to create free-form vector graphics. Traditional vector graphics involve closed shapes with simple fill functions. Our work builds on diffusion curves in which colors specified along curve sides are interpolated. Such Laplacian diffusion, however, leads to derivative discontinuities at constraints, such as the sharp crease on the middle curve. We adapt thin plate splines to allow smooth interpolation of constraints. Note how diffusion from a point constraint creates a tent-like reconstruction, whereas the thin plate spline interpolates smoothly. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. With diffusion curves, it can be tedious to specify colors along complex boundaries. Thin plate interpolation of sparse points smoothly fills arbitrary shapes. Diffusion minimizes squared first derivatives. In 1D, the solution is piecewise linear. A diffusion curve with two identical colors leads to a derivative discontinuity. At an outermost constraint, the function doesn't extrapolate. A thin plate spline minimizes an objective based on second derivatives. The reconstruction passes smoothly through specified values and extrapolates naturally. Derivatives can also be constrained, and the solution adapts accordingly. The discretized least squares objective has terms that correspond to pixel neighborhoods. In the absence of features, the solution is biharmonic, satisfying this kernel. Tears and creases adjust penalty terms that straddle the curves. Tears remove second derivative kernels. For creases, Terzopoulos adds axis-aligned first derivative kernels. However, a diagonal curve links together distant pixels. We improve results by using a generalized kernel. For each curve grid intersection, we compute the curve tangent and introduce a linear constraint on the three nearest pixels. This provides precise anisotropic control along crease, contour, and slope curves. Here are some examples of interactive editing. We start with some scattered colors and now draw a value curve. Drawing a tear curve breaks continuity. A crease curve maintains continuity, but breaks smoothness. In this example, the user first sketched tear curves and now draws sparse point constraints to define smoothly varying fill functions. and finally adjust the interpolation derivatives by drawing some contour curves and a crease curve. Here, the user fine-tunes shading by editing a contour curve. In this example, the user draws a set of slope-value curves. These curves both assign a color and constrain the cross-curve derivative to zero thus introducing a shading highlight and precisely controlling its position. We do the same here to adjust the apparent shape. To fine-tune this terrain, the user draws a slope curve to form a gully, a crease value curve to form a flat lake with sharp sides, and a tear curve to form a cliff. Here is the result rendered in 3D. Note how this complicated example is generated from a small number of curves. We apply a simple edit and zoom in. Here the user first draws a value curve to simulate lighting near the silhouette. Next. A few compound curves, crease value, slope value, crease value, create highlights and further convey 3D shape. 